Oh, you're funny. He was talking to me about making the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has some good pointers, but I gotta sit down and think about that. Let's see, Omar. He doesn't want to be seen. I respect it. You know, I'm not trying to put him on camera if he don't want to be on camera. Yeah, he's telling me I should get a. Uh, only fans and how much I can make and all this and you know it sounds nice but I don't know like mm. damn y'all really looking out for me yes oh, wow I don't think I'm gonna get that intense into it yeah that wouldn't be good I wouldn't want that. Um, I don't feel pressured to do it, you know? I Trust me, if I wanted to do it, I would have been done it. And it's just not, it's just not something I feel like I want to do. You know, it's something I really gotta think about. It's not something I just download and do right away, you know? You gotta really think that one out. For me, I gotta think that shit out. Get a mullet. I just noticed there are only girls on here. Yes, 100% all the way. I don't want no men here. I mean, unless you support me in what I do, that's awesome, but uh, usually a lot of men don't support me in anything, and they, they pretty, uh, they be hating on your boy, but fuck it. Fuck it. They, they, now they got even more of a reason to hate on me. Why are you so beautiful? Let them be jealous. I don't deal with that shit no more. People hit on me for whatever reason. They, that's not my problem. I'm out here striving and thriving. Having a beer and enjoying my life. Dang. Spencer? Yeah. Did you go to school in Shine? No, I didn't. But uh, when I was younger, I went to Jefferson. I went to Jefferson uh, Elementary School. I don't know where you know if you know where that's at. It's right there by the Lucky Dogs. I actually grew up right on that street, that Lucky Dog Street, with the uh, they have a skate park and a park. Yeah. What are you ambitious about? I'm ambitious about making an impact. I'm ambitious about take like making a way for my family. Oh, breaking a, breaking the cycle. I'm out here trying to fucking do great things, you know. I'm, and on the way, I'm trying to make people, you know, be motivated and, and inspired. You know, I hope, I hope that my videos, see, my videos are for you to be motivated, and inspired, or, or to smile, because I know life's hard. So, um, wow. Do you have a PO box? No, I don't. But you know what? Um, with the money that I have on this, uh, on the lives, I will invest in that P.O. box. I, I've been busy during the week, and my cousin, he be working me like a, like a motherfucker. He be working me. He don't give me no time to go home and do anything. I be working from like eight to fucking seven, my whole life. You know, the goal is to, to leave that job because, you know, it's just a lot of my time is being wasted on something I really don't love. But I got bills to pay, and you know. I wish I had a, a roommate, but I only have one bedroom. And on top of that, you know, I need somebody that's really just gonna come through and, uh, you know, really pay their half. I don't need nobody slacking off. And I can use that money to invest more into what I'm doing right now. But I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like being alone, but at the same time, I wish I had somebody there, but I need somebody I can trust, somebody I, I know I can, count on to, to be, you know, when the rent's due, the rent is due. Uh, like I said, I only have one bedroom, so, like, if anybody were to ever want a roommate with me, we would have to, like, come up with a, like, you sleep on the couch, it don't matter, but shit, at least you have a roof over your head, you feel me? Shit. I remember when I, I never had a room to myself, ever. Me and my brother shared the same room, never had privacy. Never knew what it was like. Now that I'm fucking alone and shit, it feels amazing. Fire so fine, it's a privilege. 
Marissa. No, it's what alive. are we doing? What are we doing? This is Marissa. Say what's up, Marissa. Mm. This is my good friend, Marissa. I met her through this job. Mm -hmm. Friends forever. BFS forever. She's uh, she's half Puerto Rican, half Italian. Her eyes are like very beautiful. I can stare into them all day. She has a man. I'm sorry. Friend zone. She has a guy. She has a man, so I respect her. Can we be mutual on social? I want to know you. I get to know you. We're surprised that you blew up on TikTok. Are you surprised? See, I always, I knew I could do it. From the second I downloaded the app, I knew I was capable of doing big things. I seen it. I visualized it. Honestly, it's just persistence. And uh, the mindset, manifestation. I manifested all this. You are all here because I manifested you. I manifested the feminine energy. I manifested me being TikTok famous. I woke up every day and said that I'm TikTok famous. And now it's, I could, I mean, I don't say it, but I know. I mean, I do say it. I am TikTok famous. I said it this morning three times. Your voice is so calming. I'm a very calm person. Especially when I'm high, I get really quiet and people tend to look at me and think that I'm sad, but really I just get deep in my thoughts. And uh, I'm an observer. I like to observe what's going on around me. I like to reflect a lot on what the fuck I'm going through and uh, figure out what I can do to be better. You know? I don't really have a lot of friends because not everybody is your friend. There's only a few. Oh shit. I'm high. I like to laugh and chill. See, I like to laugh and chill too. This song playing right now, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a good song. I'm pushing every day. I'm thinking once if. And give me to a million followers and I'm making OnlyFans. I'll make it, I'll do it. So, tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell your mom. And actually, don't tell them if they're not like gonna like, like my stuff, because if they just follow me, then there's no point if they're not gonna like it, you know? But uh, my manager that works here, he actually told me that he likes my videos, and he said, he said that some of them are cringy, and uh, you know, I accept that. I accept that, the cringy. You know, sometimes, I guess, you know, to people, they may seem cringy, but I'm comfortable with my own skin, so to me, it's not cringy at all. I'm actually, like, everything I express, it's it's me not caring about what people think, you know? Cringy or not, I'm still gonna be me at the end of the day, you know? Because some people, of course, they'll be cringed, but then there's gonna be people who fucking love what I'm doing, so, you know, you can't satisfy everybody thing is to be you and do your thing and you know it'll do what it do you got some trust issues yeah I got trust issues hell yeah hell yeah you know now that everything like everything right now is happening for me there's a lot of people who who hit me up and they've never hit me up before so um, yeah I do got trust issues you know a couple months ago I wasn't wasn't really doing much, but now that I'm doing much, now motherfuckers want to hit me up. What up, Spencer? My boy right here with the uh, Paisans Pale Ale. With the Paisans Pale Ale. I don't know if you want to get in the camera, but I can put you in the camera. If you I'm want. not really much of a camera, man. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm about hey. it. Um. Hey, cheers. Real quick. We'll do a Salud. quick cheer. I'll get in there my boy Spencer. Salud, baby. Salud. Hi. My phone's going to die. This is about to end. I'm going to have to end this live so soon, I know, but... I know. Peace out. Have a great night and uh